Good afternoon everybody, it's the Cockney Colonel here again. Saturday afternoon again, living down this place. Uh, nearly set up, nearly set up. Still got a bit of stuff to do down here with the old jolly trolleys and a few of the end tables there. But I thought I'd give you a quick whiz round, gonna get some photos done after, get some descriptions up. Uh, but give you the old uh, early little peek of what we're gonna have for this Tuesday, the 11th of August. Uh, got a nice block, never been used, right? Knife, knife block set there. Right, from old Six Star Gourmet Cutlery. Right, all the knives, brand new, about 25 of them in there. Free replacement knives for life, it says. All right, so brand new block, about 25 knives all fit in there. Never been used, never been opened. Really nice little Samsung 32 inch TV. All right, that's gonna be popular. Already got some people interested. I can see people popping in and out all the time. Various bits and pieces, we'll get back down there. Now listen. Google, who needs it, right? Just come down here, buy this set of Encyclopedia Britannica, never need Google again, right? It's what we used to do before Google, right? Just look in there, find everything you wanna know. Good fun. These little chairs, right? Mid-century, that's what they say, right? that's what they tell me. The old stripey, look. Mid-century chairs, nice, gonna be popular. Couple of little chairs, right? It folds down to that little thing there, or it sits up like that one there. How handy is that if you ain't got much room? Marvellous. Right, we've got some old Coke bottles here. Still got the Coke in it. I'd rather you try that than me, but you know, never know, might be nice. From the 90s apparently. Baseball cards, always popular. Some bits and pieces and stuff. See these things here? From the 70s. To the Magic Kingdom, right? Apparently, back in the 70s, I was just a kid. Wish I could have gone. My parents couldn't afford to bring me over here to go to Disney World. Anyway, you used to buy these things, right? And it'd be a pass. Like, you know, like you get your fast pass now. They probably charge about $100 for it. Well, this was like $4.95. Cheap as chips. It was a bloody bargain, right? And you get Sovereign Adventures. Seven Adventures on the Magic Kingdom. These ones ain't even been used. I think I'm going to go see Mickey and say, Oi, Mickey, can I still use these? There's a box of them, right? Never been used. I want to go down to Magic Kingdom, try them out, see if I can get on those rides. Some nice... Uh, Bit of glassware there. All right, and some old vintagey stuff in there. Look at these, these are pretty cool. I should have been a cowboy. I like that song. Holsters, right? All I need now some guns. Stick that round me waist. I'd be old quick draw. Quick draw cook with Colonel. That'd be good. Bit of ammo there. So when I get a gun, I can put something in it. Some of them things are meant to be like pretty hefty apparently. They're like blow up things. I don't know what they are. They're bullets, right? Bullets. Little BB gun, old knife, right? Pretty cool old uh, tin box. All right, that looks all right, doesn't it? Unusual. Little tin box there. I don't know where that's from. These old things, right? Used to send them out apparently to something like Soldiers in the War, stuff like that, yeah? Um, I haven't put any of the naughty ones on the top, but there's there's a couple of naughty ones in there. All right, must have been like early Playboy or something like that. But most of them are like these movie stars, you know, there's some then and now. Pictures of like whoever was famous at the time. Ray Milland, yeah. Steve Cochran, never heard of it. All right, I'm sure they're famous. Then and now pictures, when they were a kid, and when they're now. Well, when they were then, because it ain't now, because probably ain't here now, but when they were then, and then before then. Right, that's what they are. Right, old Rolling Stones. A lot of them from the 40s and the 50s and stuff. Audrey Hepburn, all the old famous people. Harry James, whoever he is. All right, some old stuff. This old book. Looks like a kind of Bible, as far as I can make out, probably from something like the Balkans, Greece, but maybe Balkans we think, maybe something like that, all right, pretty, pretty cool, all right, some old photos and stuff in here, all right, so I know you guys like uh, doing various things with him, all right, a little snapshot, old Webster, Daniel Webster, what a guy he was, hated the English, so he changed all the words that we use in England, so Americans don't have to spell things the same way. It's tough, you know, living over here, trying to find all these new ways of spelling stuff. Look at this, this is cool, right? This is some vintage Girl Scout stuff, right? This little cup, right? Look at that. Just comes up, pops up like that, or it goes flat, right? Flat and up, right? The lid comes off, pop your water in there. Look at that, that's marvellous, I love that. All right, but a nice little uh, arrangement. Got the dress there, the beret, the little bow, the sash, a little purse, right, some gloves, and warmer. Nice, 
stuff from the Girl Scouts. Vintage, really nice. Now these little fellas, I've got two of them, right? Spinoza, Spinoza the bear, right? Everybody needs a little bit of Spinoza, because you stick one of these tapes, right, in his backside, and you twist a little arty thing, right, on his heart, and the little bear talks to you, right? And it says, right, filled with original songs and stories which inspire hope, encourage us to follow our dreams and to believe in ourselves. Everybody needs a Spinoza bear. Love him, come and get it. Some vintage uh, baseball-y, mitty things. That's a weird one, that one. Look at that big old lumpy thing. You'd be able to drop much in that, would you? Jim Bean, apparently, used to be uh, filling up these old decanter things. Got two of them, all right? Looks like you get quite a lot of Jim Bean in that. Might last me a couple of hours. False graft. Nice big old set of the old uh, vintage false graft there. But this one, brand drip, it's called, right? I've got a ton of it, a ton of it. Put a little bit out, see how it goes. I'll show you later. People had a lot of it. They collected it for years from all around the world. So I've got a lot of this brand drip false graft, right? Loads of it. Some smoked glass, some nice stuff. Amico toy tanker, right? It's a special limited edition, right? One of 18,000. So there's only 17,999 others out there. How lucky are you if you buy that one? One of 18,000. Win Dixie, 1912, right? Open cab bank. So put your money in there if you wanted to open the box. Don't know if I've ever been opened. All right, so they're in there. Little rare bear. All right, what's that? What's that mean? You cut her in half and she's like, you know, rare inside or what? Looks cute, quite cute though, right? Sits up, really pretty. Rare bear. Some big old toenail thing, apparently. Ooh, gives me the eebie jeebies looking at that. Bit of milk glass. Nice bit of milk glass there. Quite a cool little um, sort of rodeo style, cowboy style, sort of handmade by the looks of it, coat hanger. All right, so that's pretty cool. A bit more silver plate this week. All right, some anida. Some nice uh, bike helmets, all right? So, never been open. Bike helmets there, little pet carrier. Some vintage uh, quilts. A nice Sears Kenmore sewing machine. And all the bits and pieces that go with it, all the spinnies and all the rest of it. Nice little knife display uh, case there. A few vintage irons. Got some cool vintage, love vintage, yeah, everything's vintage. Vintage army stuff, right? Got some duffel bags, right? Put your kit in there. Some nice jackets and coats there. All right, so some nice army gear going on. All right, that's gonna be popular. Some of the old original hats by a little bit. Nice little uh, chest under there. All right, some uh, proper old tool looking stuff. All right, so if you're uh, looking to decorate somewhere, you know, with a bit of the vintage tools and stuff like that. All right, some bomb box or something like that over there, a wooden bomb box apparently had bombs in it apparently, or ammunition or something like that. All right, pretty cool little uh, Jimmy thing there. If you like exercise, oh, I ain't got time for that. It's a lot of hard work, isn't it? You know? Anyway, old stuff down here. Bit of fishing gear, the old fish finder. Everyone else wanna know where the fish are before you chuck your rod in there. All right, bit of little lot. Puzzles. You like puzzles? Come on, buy the puzzles. All right, I put them in stacks of six. All right, tons of them. Loads and loads and loads of them. All right, so, you know, winter's coming. You're gonna be stuck indoors. Right, it's raining now actually, you might as well just sort of come and buy some puzzles so when it's like raining and boring, you can just do puzzles at home, you know. Save you going out, doesn't it? Saves you some money. Alright, bit of old coat gear there. Alright, and then really ain't finished off up here. Um, but I'll just give you a quick butchers, right? Brand drip, full scraft. Right, this is going to be in a later auction depending on how the early stuff goes, that I showed you earlier. Alright, but quite a wide selection of it. I've actually got more um, stashed away as well, some more unusual pieces. All right, but a lot of this stuff there. Going to be having the Jolly Trolleys as always. All right, everybody loves the Jolly Trolleys. Come and load up, take all your stuff down to the flea markets or whatever else you want to do with it. All right, so the Jolly Trolleys are always popular. Really nice desk. All right, it's unusual because it's like small footprint. All right, so it's quite contemporary, quite modern. All right. So that's really nice, that's gonna be going in. Big old Kenwood speakers. Remember back in the day, Kenwood, eh? Got a Kenwood going on. Boom, boom. All right, gonna have a nice sleigh bed as well. Let me give you a quick look at that. Sleigh bed over there, see that? 
Yeah, happy days. Somebody's going to get a new bed. Nice slay bed goes together easy. They just pop into the sides. All right, so you know all about it. That's a quick preview. We've still got to finish setting up. We are at 400 East Gulf Atlantic Highway, which is State Road 44, basically. All right, quite close to 301 in Wildwood. So State Road 44 at the junction of 301 in Wildwood, 400 East Gulf Atlantic Highway. Come down to see us, Tuesday, August the 11th, 4 p.m. preview, 5 p.m. start. All right, get down here, bring the old money, as usual, spend it all. Thank you.